What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We are here about to check out Maxor, new to my channel. Um, I heard that this has some crazy editing or something like that, and that it was going to be a little bit hard to follow, but challenge accepted. Anyways, I have played Metal Gear Rising. I didn't complete it, but I am familiar with the game. Let's go ahead, shut up, and turn it up. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games, besides Genshin Impact. Created as a spin-off to the critically acclaimed Metal Queer Solid 4, Guns of the Pirates, we are cast as Raiden, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse-pounding action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in a worldwide conspiracy conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the United States. It's up to us to stop Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg dinosaurs controlled by orphans, and fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for, such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set to the tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world-famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above really? 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human-sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. They made Twitter into a plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Gians, and the voices now activated. So we boot up the game, but it. That was just the intro. Okay, I caught some of that. That was just the intro. What are these titles? The Suffering of Obama? I feel like there are so many quotes in this. Oh my goodness. And the second one is even longer. I saw that this is a part one and part two. I don't know if there's more parts. Oh, I should have taken some type of. <laughs> This is like one of them things where you just got to kind of grit your teeth and bear it. We got to get through this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> It doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do any resolution. What amazing gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme, with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsack Okrumbo. He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? I spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's RGBs. half the man he once was. Uh, my name is Obama. I have a uh, shit my doo-doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature, humans, it's telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I think that's an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Really? Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies, and prevent them from attacking, or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, Ryan? Most animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryan? Hang on, I think I'm hearing a boss music oh that's the uh, that's how that dude sound my game right? crashed i'm just gonna uh run past everyone uh joe biden please help me pass the health care health care you say i'm a specialist ah, a new customer i forgot how brutal this game was let's hope obamacare covers euthanasia my name is Obama. I, uh, shut up. Yeah, I, I, I forgot how edgy this game is, man. I mean, I, I feel like there's very few games that top the edge and kind of like the as, as graphic as it is. You know what I mean? 
this guy's editing is crazy. This ah, this is like this is like Mr. Beast editing, but for gaming, it's like on steroids. This this is actually kind of crazy. I I I think I am getting headache. Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant robot. Federal agent spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when really you don't look like a cracked game. up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry, because Raiden is fucking jacked. Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Dimes. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, please join us. Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Buff Obama. Bezos. Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack. You can't even hold There's a sword. Somewhere there. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, Raiden. Also, who am I? Or I'll be back for you, bitch. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the... Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. Okay. So after the roughest plane the ride since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia <laughs> to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his journey by encountering three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing, since every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is the actual term used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. Oh, wow. We, however, are fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! Low tier god. So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. You know, even though it's like really, really fast edited and that you might have to down, a, you know, uh, an ibuprofen in order to get through it, it's quite informative, right? This is, this is, this is there's, an, there's a certain genius about the way that he's editing this, right? It's almost like he doesn't spend any more than three or four or five seconds max, and he just puts so much text and color grading, right? Because, you know, for the core, I got to kind of edit that stuff out for the YouTube algorithm. I'm not even sure how this is going to perform on my channel. You know what I mean? As far as, you know, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Everything is fine in this video. There is nothing here, nothing to look at, nothing. <laughs> Anyways, the editing is crazy. It's nuts. Tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is, is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh fuck. Zero. No sex offender spotted. The correct response. What the dog doing now? What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, right? Wait, how do you know my name? I am reprogrammed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA, but my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade Wall. Oh, Jesus, and there. let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um, time walk. to learn. What? I um, don't know what attack this is. Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. <laughs> I've been moderating your Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Stop. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Yo. Big Chungus29 for the donation. Wait, wait, Please. wait, wait, wait. Waiting for you. That's not real, right? That's there's somebody on Twitch. Is that is that is that real Twitch handle? Is somebody here on Twitch who looks yo these titles, the Russian connection? Somebody look like this? I need to know. Right in. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus 29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. That can be arranged. Welcome to the world's first I boss fight where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Potters or perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight when you oh fire God. the animators. But oh despite God. some of the occasional frustration, bronze. this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like. I like it when women hit me. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yes! That was cool! Your purpose- Bro, does Sonic Adventure 2? That's the Sonic Adventure 2 vid mission completes music. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this is- Oh my, he's even pulled out all the stops for this. purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. In my stream, it's, it's called a line. You are truly weird, champ. I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no matter. With my death, you will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. God damn, I'm turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video game, it's up to Sonic the Edgehog to that. make his way to the city of Mexico, complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Yeah, Your destination is on the right. Ah, uh, not suspicious. Now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Nah, Better keep Chris. playing that's, the game to bleach my eyes. What's up gamers? It's Maxor here. And today, we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It, it's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God, it's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. Smash tournament with a joke. Oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak English? What the fuck is he saying? Can you repeat that? Listen, I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play Did the really? rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous, well-known video game series called Smash oh, Brothers. That's Wario, Snake. He also attacks by farting. Day. Now you Actually. two can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. 
tie its fits with slap chops. Slap your troubles away. Slap you got big chunks of steady. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams. There's a lot of uh, Genshin Impact references, proprietary software, something like that, that I that uh, I don't know I'm gonna get, so I, I need, I'm gonna need some help here. There's so much going on here. Proprietary software. We assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams before selling them crack. Their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his eight reverse hours. Uno card and trapping it in a corner for up uh, two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my god, I can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. I'll blow his head open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? So at least nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Raiden evades the evil forces of Super big accurate. sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. And showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations, specifically the corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although Joe Biden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military grade Roombas. Raiden heads into an office Roombas. through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Also, they forgot to limit my turn speed. There's even a subway section with this cool new enemy yeah, that I've else? never yeah. seen before. I don't think Falling anything like could long. ruin this. What's up, gamers? God damn it. Let me tell you something important, Raiden. You're a normie and a beta male cuck. I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Weak. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. You know what? I feel like one definitely one of the most uh, impressive things about it, besides the like cracked out editing is just the amount of dialogue, right? That I, obviously this isn't what they said, but you being able to condense everything that they were talking about and turn it into humor and some questionable things <laughs> it's an understatement is impressive i definitely will be back <laughs> Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe Nene -Nay baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is Nene -Nay. wrong with his hair? What, what are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, stop it. He even has a fake chin. Do you see now, Jack? How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my cringe police lord. officer? You're gonna be talking about the no fuck. So after chopping the authorities so fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. So you are aware of what you are doing to us, I see. Continue. Now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of What? Your work. My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency meeting. Oh, so please stop. <laughs> <from a one piece. laughs> no. 
There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They Memes. are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. Oh, and he's got You're the You're right. Uh, about size. me, I mean, I what? Size. I thought I could be just like you, but... That is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. Doctor, turn off my cringe inhibitors. But write it, you'll lose subscribers. Do it. Okay. I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. You family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, using his good old-fashioned values upon which he used to rely. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. Hey Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? Thank you, thank you, I spent four days editing that. Now excuse me as I take this call. The memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. Ooh. Oh man, I gotta take a break. I and the other one's longer. All right. Um, assuming that this doesn't get, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see. It all depends on. I don't. I don't even know, bro. That's it's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.